Stop.
Let's get back. <laughs> it's funny, you know. I'm talking to you like you're a living, breathing creature. Like you understand me. <laughs> but you're not. You don't. You're a submarine. A machine. And you give something a name. Jellyfish. Look, they're just floating nervous systems. Are they conscious? turned you into a constant companion. What does that say about me? Hmm? Well, those voices the same. Loneliness. Manifested. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Oh my God, what happened? Are you okay? Just tell me you're... I'm okay. I... The fires are on the surface. I'm... I'm fine. Oh my God, you have no idea how worried I was. I want you to come home, now. Emma, I can't just... Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You may not think you can, but you absolutely can. She needs me to. She? Who? Some faceless unit 
French executive? One of Tim's lackeys? No. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm saying... Uh, I saw her, Emma. I saw her down here. What are you talking about? I didn't want to worry you, but it's Pearl. I saw Pearl. I know this is hard to hear. God knows it's been hard to see, but I swear on my life, she, she came to me. I was on a routine maintenance run, just a clear up, up really, and and there was there was this light and a little bear. Remember Lumiere? I know. It was Emma. I need you to listen to me. Do you hear me? I, I saw Pearl. I'm gonna call Tim. I'm gonna call the police or the Coast Guard or wh whoever it is that's supposed to be regulating that f that that company. No, no, you're not listening to me. Because you are obviously not fine. You are very far from fine. I'm not crazy. I saw her. I touched her. <laughs> she saved my... my life down there. Pearl? Pearl saved your life a hundred meters underwater? Was she wearing a diving suit? No, she was... Listen to yourself, please. Pearl is dead, Stan. She's dead. I don't know if you've got nitrogen narcosis or something, but you need help. And I'm gonna get it for you. I'm calling Tim. No, please. He, he won't... This is as much for me as you. I'm... I'm... You're what? It doesn't matter. I love you. <sighs> Why did I tell her? <laughs> Stupid. Do I sound insane? Oh. 
Hey there. I know you're real. I know you're here. And I won't. I am not going to leave you. Not this time. from Tim. Team moved for safety reasons. Relocated to emergency comm ship. Tasks are normal. Fire is PR disaster. Clean up duties. Sorry, we'll contact soon. At least he's safe. Now I'm an errand boy for the New Trench PR department. Coffee first. Trend spokesman, the fire is well under control, and any wildlife impacted are being monitored by dedicated specialists. Indeed, from the shore here, there's little trace of any accident at all. The seas are calm, and everything seems ship shape and above board. Back to you in the studio. <sighs> Looks like the BR team are doing just fine without me. Impacted wildlife. Shit. I hope Joe's all right.
Fleming said this place was sealed years ago. Safety reasons. Off limits to everyone. But if Joe's in there, that's where I'm going. It's fine.
Jesus. What were they doing down here? Shit. What the hell is that? Go, 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 go. signal. Nothing. Shit. A sonar. Maybe I can find him using the sonar. Got him. Nearly there. Last stretch.
the garden set. That looks like our garden set. I remember there was music and balloons. <laughs> She almost fell. It was Lemire. Dad, we didn't know she'd like him. We were so worried. I'm sorry I'm late, baby. I got caught up in... I had to... Daddy, Roger called me a name. A name? He said I was a, a dweeb. Roger said that? Yeah. Well, then, I guess I'll have to have a word with Roger. But, look. I brought you something. A present? <laughs> a present. What is it? <gasps> Happy birthday, sweetheart. This is Lumiere. Lumiere, this is Pearl. I want you two to take good care of each other. Okay? I promise. Thank you, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye, Joe. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry.
Man should call Emma. Let's go for a walk. Daddy, where will John Paul go now? John Paul? Mommy said he went away. That he didn't want to swim anymore. Oh. You mean your goldfish? <sighs> well... John Paul died, Pearl. Yeah. We all... We all die, sweetie. I didn't want him to die. No one ever wants their friends to die. But... That's life. It's... All a big circle. Yeah. Everything dies. And and when it does, it goes back into the earth and helps make new life. Even John Paul. Even John Paul. That's why it's important to remember them. The ones we lose. They're a part of that circle. And as long as we remember them, they're never really gone. Stress call from Sector B. Tim mentioned some of the drones have been sent over there, but this this is coming in manually from a relief team Alpha. Secure channel. No way to respond. Come on, Tim. Jesus. 
Starting to feel left behind here. Stan, come in. Finally. I saw the news. Is there fire? Finally out. We, um, we took some casualties. Oh, God. Yeah. Press haven't found out yet, but they'll be hell to pay when they do. Did I do this? Is this my fault? What? The main flow, I... I increased the pressure, the accident. No. No, get that notion out of your head this instant. It was bad luck is all. The storm, you know. And the drill platform going haywire. It'll take years to undo the damage. But... Enough. We're getting you out of there. That's why I'm calling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good... Yeah, okay. Boat with the retrieval capsules on its way. It'll take a day or two. Until then... One final job. Sector B. Sector B? The distress call. Checking. I haven't... There's no record of any distress call from Sector B on this end. Hmm. Coming through loud and clear here. On the unit trench emergency frequency. Odd. Tim? I knew they were hiding something. So... What's the plan? Head over there. Check it out. And stay in radio contact. Something fishy's going on here. Roger that. Setting out now. Last chance to stock up. This is going to be a long one.
size of this thing. Unit trying to protect its own, apparently. Approaching the gate now. Should be just like the last time. Uh... Tim? Working on it. This is odd. It's asking for priority access codes. I've never even heard of priority access codes. Let alone on a sector entrance. Give me a second here. In the meantime, there should be a secondary access around there somewhere. Have a look around. Access to Sector B is currently denied to anyone without a direct mandate from corporate. Okay, well, uh, bad news. That's exactly where I am. I don't understand. There's nothing down there except the admin office and a storage bunker, and, and the rig, of course. Are they worried? 
worried some mad bastard might try and blow it up. People on the news seem pretty angry about the leak. Should I still be here? That bugger corporate bunch of assholes. I want to know what it is they're hiding down there. Center. Find out what that signal's all about, but stay safe. First sign of trouble, you leave. Head towards that. Got a capsule here, Tim. And empty. Looks like a rescue team. All right. But if everyone was evacuated, a rescue team for who? Or what? Still no details on this end. If they sent a team, they did it outside of normal procedure. There's a black hole where any briefing files would be. Always a good sign. Head into the admin bunker. Main door's locked. From the inside. That's not... normal. I don't... Why? Why would a relief team lock themselves inside an evacuation zone? That's good. Or very, very bad. This is oil. Refined. Why is this here? There's a small storage bunker right by the admin center. God knows why, but that's where you are. Shut tight. Lockdown's been triggered. By the storm, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. So thought, but it did the job. Probably won't be the last door you'll have to bust down. Oh, Freaking bill me.
place is locked down. with those leech things I saw. That special oil. Possibly. I asked around, covertly. No one's ever heard of anything like that. Or any special oil. center proper now. Home sweet home. The SOS is coming from somewhere in that area. Check around. Killers are circling. Try not to take that as an omen. to the evac training in there. Thought it was a lot of bunkum, but... Well... Oh, no. What? I'm at some sort of... locker room. It... It's completely submerged.
budging this. This is an oil leak. This... I saw it in the drone bunker. Some sort of invasive sea life? Leeches or something? Begin with the leeches. It's oil, trust me. When it hits water that deep, it floats in these big globs. Very leech-like. Tim, whatever I'm seeing, it's not oil. Back! Get back! server room. Oh god. Is that... Tim? Found one of the team. Can't be sure, but... He looks dead. Jesus. Door's locked. Of course. You need to get in there. Find out what happened. Head to the control room upstairs. See if we can't end this bloody lockdown. First, though, give me a scan of those servers. Might be able to grab some info.
place is getting. It's still locked down, Tim. Gotta find another way in. Okay. All right. Maybe... Maybe through the living quarters. There's another entrance. On my way. Jesus Christ. You know, I just realized I missed that place. The office. Broken chair, wobbly desk, constant damp. But now it's gone. Funny. What we get attached to, eh? You can say that. Holy shit. What? Stan, what's happened? Stanley! They're dead. They were a leaf team or hit squad or whatever they were. Oh, Jesus. Drowned. They were locked in. Those? If I find out, if those assholes off their own team. It wasn't them. It was this stuff. These things. This is serious. These look like the crew cabins. Emergency access to the control room should be through here. Control room. At last. Look for the command control board. That'll get you into the server room. Lockdown's lifted. Head back to the server room. Let's get this over with. Nearly there. And... Done. Up yours, you culprit. Oh, no. Tim? Hello? Anyone?
Lumiere. Maybe she's in the toy section. Who's that? You. Sweetheart. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for Mom, Sally. I think you made her sad. What were you fighting about? We weren't fighting. We talked about them. But that fight... Hey, <laughs> the fight was no big deal, you know? Everything was... Everything's fine. I'm out, Tim. I'm done. I saw. The data erasure stopped and... No. I mean, I'm done. With this. All of this. Okay, lad, I, um... Yeah. That's probably for the best. I'll schedule retrieval crew ASAP. You get yourself back to the module. Let's get out of here.
Tim, I need to tell you something. All right. It's about Pearl. <sighs> she followed me here. Some part of her. Not sure I understand. Neither do I. I've seen things down here. I had no idea it was possible. Stan, those headaches, did they ever come back? What? No. No, I'm fine. Oh, wait, you, you think this is narcosis? That I dreamt up the thing that nearly killed me? No, no, I believe you. This is a lot. I know. We'll talk more when I get up there. But there's something very wrong down here, Tim. Okay, lad. Whatever it is, we'll see it sorted. Together. This is it. Last night under the waves. Need to call Emma. It's been too long already. Stan? This signal on another one of Tim. Bullshit. Stan! Stan, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm here. I'm... I'm here. I saw the rig on the news. Worst platform accident in over a decade, they said. The environmental damage alone. And I can't even worry about that because my husband refuses to listen to reason. I'm coming back. All to chase some flight of... What? I'm done. It's all... done. I'm coming home. Tim's sending a boat. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay, good. Um, why am I not... Why do I feel there's a but? I just... I can't leave her like this. I think she needs my help. Pearl. Yes. And... What does she say? I don't expect you to understand. Understand? What is there to understand when you're not making any sense? I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm pregnant, Stan. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> We're gonna have a a baby. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I... I can't... Alright, look, I... I know I haven't been... In a, in a, in a way, I've just been... 
I... I just miss her so much, Emma. Every time I close my eyes, I see her, I... I see you, I see us, and it... And it never stops hurting. And you think it's been different for me? I haven't had a single waking moment of clarity in three years. But I... I knew I couldn't let that pain define me, or I would never, ever escape it. I love you. But starting again, moving on, it is hard, Stan. I'm gonna need you with me. Tempting, but no. Oh. All right, last check in. Your pickup will arrive around sunrise tomorrow, and... Emma's pregnant. What? Yeah. Bugger me. Well, congratulations. How are you? How are you sitting with it? Ah, uh, still... processing. Ah, it's exactly what you need. It'll be perfect, I'm telling you. Hmm. What about you? What happens now? That is a little more complicated. You know, maybe I'll go back to the boats. There's still a few decent crews out there. As for the data Unitrends tried to erase, well, you know how clumsy I can be. No telling whose mailbox it led up in. <laughs> I look forward to watching the fallout from a distance. Talk to you tomorrow. In person, this time. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sleep well, Stan. Sleep. I'm 
may as well be awake. Oh, I'm 
no. No, no. No. Oh, shit. 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 Okay, come. Come on now. Remember the training. Well, this is... this is bad. This is bad. Okay. Stay calm. Deep breaths. Conserve oxygen. slide or something. This can't... Our house... 
How did I? Pearl. You're... You're still... Here. Okay, you. Think you've about worn out that armchair. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh, when did you get so big, huh? Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. Uh, here we go. I had a good day. There we go. Package delivery. One sleepy girl. Better? Hmm, better. It's cold. Let me close the window. Under the covers now. Okay, Daddy. Wait, where's Lumiere? Daddy, I can't find Lumiere. Hey, hey, hey. He can't have gone that far. Not with those little legs of his. Don't worry, I'll find him. There you are. Been on quite the journey together, eh? Huh. Thanks for the ride. Found him. Think he was making a break for it. Maybe he was trying to find you, so you could tell us a story? Okay. <laughs> okay, what'll it be? The well song. All right, love. All right, settle down. The whale song. Once upon a time, there was a baby whale, a cute calf, roughly three tons from head to tail. His mother was a different beast entirely over 30 meters long and 70 tons of love so motherly. The whale calf, not even close to her, worried without delay. Mummy, when you are gone, what will I become? Its mother would gently say, I will always be close to you. It was not a terrible lie to start, because our dead keep on living here, in our heart. But it wasn't fair for the baby whale, who had seen his father died from a harpoon's travail. He asked again, So where has Papa gone? His mother took a deep breath and replied, heads on, he is still here. His soul is swimming next to us, far and near. Then she added, I will bring you to a place without lies, a place without pretty sights. Always remember this, and you will move on. On the beach, where many corpses lie, Whales in decomposition, skin dry, regurgitated balls. 
walls of plastic for pillows. The calf's eyes got wet, and before long, tears flowed, warm and clear. His heart heavy, he started a song, sorrowful and sincere. From the baby's ache, out of the waves, a miracle happened. The air started to vibrate, the ground to shake. One of the still bodies rose and widened. Despite the waste and the rubbish, against the fragile cycle, death was ascending to the sky, across eternity's threshold. Then death would fall down to feed the earth, continuing a never-ending cycle in which we always find a morrow. Okay, love. Time for bed. Oh, Daddy, please. It's, it's so cold down here. I'm lonely. Stay, please. Oh, God. Sweetheart. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Could I really stay? Emma, the baby, <laughs> Pearl's here, she's, she's right here, <sighs> I can't just leave, can I, should I, Emma needs me, I, need her. No, I have to stay. I won't lose my daughter. Not again. I... I'm sorry, sweetheart. I've... Mummy needs me. We're having a... We need each other. I love you, Daddy. <sighs> I... miss you. I'll always miss you. Always.
My daughter died three years ago. Seems like hardly any time at all. And an eternity. It was her love that hurt most. It's absence. Like when she'd jump onto our bed on Saturday mornings. When Emma would sneak up behind her, lift her overhead. The house was empty without it. But I still hear it. Every single day. It's mine now. And I guess that's the point. Life is one long series of partings. But no one ever really leaves. We move on knowing we carry them with us. Pearl is with me now. I will love her for as long as I love anything. But for the first time in a long time, I feel... unburdened. Free. Like I don't have to run from the future. I have to let her go. But I'll never leave her behind. Because none of us are alone.